Well, that was a nice walk. Are you doing okay, Otis? Little walk. That was like one of those six Qs people always running. You mean five Ks? Yeah, you got all the answers, smart guy. Uh, speaking of the answers, uh, talk about why we're here. Right, so we were walking and Otis asked me a great question. What is a pygmy tyrant? Yeah, I heard those words and I uh, thought they had a nice ring to them, uh, but I don't know what they mean. So we came to the Burpee Museum of Natural History in Rockford, Illinois to see what we could find out. What do you say we go inside and look for some clues? Yeah, I want to see all the cool stuff they got in there. All right, me too. Whoa. Hey, Bray, is this a pygmy tyrant? That's not a pygmy anything. The sign says it's a Colombian mammoth. Whoa. Before we get into the exhibits, let's talk about what pygmy tyrant could mean. The word pygmy refers to an animal that is smaller than more common types. So, uh, I'm smaller than you. Does that make me a pygmy you? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Let's use the pygmy goat as an example. Populations of wild and domestic goats grow to within a predictable range of expected sizes. Another group of nature's little lawn mowers that look the same as other types but grow to a smaller adult size are called pygmy goats. Oh, so uh, I'd have to look just like you to be a pygmy you. You'd at least have to look human. Oh right, I'll work on that. Well, don't work too hard. So uh, what other types of pygmy things are there? As it turns out, there are quite a lot. There are smaller than usual varieties of all sorts of animals. And during the Ice Age, there were even small mammoths. Okay, so there's lots of things in the pygmy size. So uh, which one is a tyrant? Good question. The word tyrant refers to an animal, in our case, that would have power over others. So, something like a lion? Yeah. Tigers? Uh, yeah, and there are other things, other than cats. And uh, I had something else in mind before you got all cute with the cat line. Let me guess. Bears. How dare you call my ancestors tyrants? Wait, are your ancestors? Yeah, well, since you brought it into the light and all, uh, uh, my mother has a fifth cousin once removed who happens to be a popular comedic bear. Uh, but it's no big deal. Uh, let's get back on track here. Uh, right, good idea. Now we talked about what the words pygmy and tyrant can mean in an animal nickname. Now let's put them together. Sharks! Sharks what I was thinking about earlier. Daddy Ocean's tyrants with all those uh, snaggly tooth and cold, dark eyes. Yeah, that's a good example. So now let's put those two words together and see if they make sense. Okay, yeah, so uh, pygmy is a small version of an animal and the tyrant is something terrifying. Tiny and terrifying, like me. That's right. So we're looking for an animal that's smaller than most types that look like it, but looks ferocious. That sounds tricky there, Brad. Uh, are you sure we can find something like that? I think the clues we need are here. Let's investigate. Let's go. Hey, we're here at the Jane Diary of a Dinosaur exhibit. Yeah, uh, looks like there's gonna be a T-Rex in there. It sure does. And you know what? I just thought of something, Otis. Yeah, this ought to be good. I hope so. The T in T-Rex stands for Tyrannosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus means Tyrant Lizard. So I wonder if our pygmy tyrant has something to do with T-Rex. Oh, maybe it's got something to do with lizards. Maybe. Let's check it out. All right, let's go! Oh, man, I can't wait to see this T-Rex, man. I want to help big... How... 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 Big. Holy science, Brad! There's two of them! Yeah, maybe these panels will give us more information. Let's go! Okay, uh, I didn't bring my reading glasses. Uh, what neat stuff does this uh, tell us about Jane? Well, this says that Jane was a juvenile T-Rex. That means that she died before she was finished growing. Oh, Brad! You're making me sad now! You didn't tell me this tyrant would rule over my heart! Well, Otis, if it makes you feel any better, wild animals die before adulthood pretty frequently. Even the king of the dinosaurs. <laughs> Why, Brad? Why must this happen? Well, it's just the way that nature works sometimes. But you know what? What? 
Because this animal died so young and became fossilized, the Burpee Museum found it and scientists have been able to study it to learn more about how T-Rex grew up. Uh, so, uh, Jade really is the pygmy tyrant we're looking for? Well, she's one of them. Take a look at that skull over there. Uh, there's another one? Uh, I'm confused. This skull was found in 1942. When it was picked up again in 1988, it was described as Nanotyrannus, or a pygmy tyrant, a tiny tyrannosaur. A later study determined that, among other details, the skull bones were not fused enough to represent an adult animal. The bottom line is that more fossils need to be found and studied by paleontologists. For now, the case for Nanotyrannus just doesn't hold water. So, uh, scientists decided Nanotyrannus isn't a real animal. It's just a kid T-Rex. Mostly. Yeah, well, uh, with arms that small, uh, it ain't gonna hold much of nothing, whatever it is. Yeah, that's part of the joke. All right, you gotta work on your jokes there, Brad. I mean, what you said about a bottle of water sounds more like a fact and uh, something that's supposed to bring mirth to my heart. Well, thanks for the honest feedback, Otis. I'll ask the writers to drop in a better joke next time. There ain't gonna be a next time you keep dropping stinkers like that. And that's all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed what we did here, then make sure to... Okay. Holy science, brain! Tiny and terrifying, like me.